the tropics are waking up again. Yeah, they're just kind of like getting the sleepies out of their eyes, just seeing what, what's going on out there. Yeah. We have warm temperatures, but one thing that the tropics are kind of battling, mm -hmm. still some Saharan dust. So this wave that we're watching the Atlantic, it has a lot of things working against it. We're not mad about that, but it is an indication of what's to come in the yes. months ahead, of course. Okay. So let's go ahead and head over to the weather wall and get you all updated on what is just truly an area of disturbed weather. And you can actually see there's not a whole lot of organization along with it. It is just a few hundred miles well to the east of the Lesser Antilles tonight. This really doesn't have a whole lot of energy going along with it. Again, it's battling some dust, even battling some wind shear out there, which tropical development does not like. But the National Hurricane Center, nevertheless, watching it because over the next seven days, there is a 50% chance that this will try to develop into possibly a tropical system, maybe a tropical depression by the end of the week or into the upcoming weekend. And if it happens, it would be somewhere in this region because that is where conditions can be a little more conducive for development. So let me walk you through two different models. These are models that are global that we typically do keep a very close eye on when we're talking about the tropics. The European continues to drift just north of the Greater Antilles all the way to the northern Leeward Islands and over the Bahamas and then gives us a nice turn before reaching the Sunshine State. This would actually be our best case scenario because that kind of puts us on the drift drier side if it were to make that harsh turn and this one has even been trying to trend towards a slightly weaker system before absolving it into portions of the Carolinas by next week. Let me take you through the GFS. This is our American model. It agrees with the European as far as the northern Leeward Islands, the uh, greater Antilles, but then there's some disagreement of it organizing at all and if it were to it could possibly be also a weaker system but more so into the Gulf of Mexico which more than anything else could mean more more moisture overhead, better rain chances, decent tropical downpours, but that would be about it. So there's still quite a bit of disagreement. We also don't typically or officially have a system to grab onto to really put these accurate models into play, which is what happens when we get an invest. We're not there yet, so there's nothing really to truly track at this point. But as mentioned, it's battling some dust, it's battling some wind shear, and there's kind of a few factors going against it. Keep in mind, though, we're knocking on the back door of August, and that is where an activity activity typically ramps up through the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and even the portions of the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll be here to keep you updated and walk you through any changes as this week unfolds.